More and more of the companies leading on environmental action are using an internal carbon price. It's really exciting to see that economic measures that drive internal behaviour change are entering the mainstream. Companies are becoming increasingly more sophisticated in pricing their carbon emissions, differentiating between geographies as well as business lines. And while carbon prices are rising, they are not yet sufficiently high to trigger the transition that we need. More and more financial institutions are factoring the price of carbon when deciding on investments. And that is a great development. Absolutely. For example, financial institutions are using an internal carbon price to prioritize low carbon investments and avoid climate related risks. A high price enough can clear the path towards corporate net zero. Internal carbon pricing translates climate targets into financial language. As we know, tools that make climate change tangible and personal are essential for progress. So internal carbon pricing can be a crucial mechanism for reaching net zero. We'll only achieve net zero when and only when all aspects of our economies are seriously engaged in decarbonization. Internal carbon pricing provides tangible and relatively straightforward tools for private sector companies to take action and play their part. Higher carbon prices will make it increasingly more difficult for polluters to access affordable finance through capital markets. This will allow us to accelerate the transition to a low-carbon global economy. We have recently advised a client in the financial sector to apply internal carbon pricing for their investment evaluation, a major breakthrough. The majority of companies currently report using internal carbon pricing to mitigate external risks. Going forward, I'd really hope to see companies motivated by the prospect of making sustainable change.